Ken is like a super quick character. I'm going to wear my favorite outfit. I didn't pick the right color, though. Um, Ultra Double, I hope you picked. Yeah. All right, cool. So I actually already recorded a Ken one, for what it's worth, but uh, various reasons, mostly, partially including the fact that Derp was my dummy, but also other reasons. Um, I, I want to do a new one, just purely because I wasn't, like, I got a lot of complaints about it from various people. And I want to do Cody again as well, and I think maybe Akuma as well. I don't know. Um, I've already done Yon, Beifa, I think. Yeah, I think I've already done Yon. You can go find that. You can dig that up on my channel. Uh, Ken. Ken is a Shura. I don't want to... I don't want to just say, like, oh, it's like Ryu's so-and-so that much. So let's try and avoid that, if possible. Um, let's go right through it. It'll be quick. Ken's movement is good. He does have the ability to alter his jump arc with uh, uh, Tatsus, which is really useful. Altering jump arc, it's one of the one of the worst, not worst, just worse. It's one of the worst ways to alter your jump arc, but inherently altering your jump arc is so useful that it's still really good. Um, but you can do you can do cool shenanigans with that, not including uh, surprise cross ups or not not excluding surprise. Mostly fuck fuck whatever. Um, jab no yeah jab. Uh, stand jab has more frame advantage than a scratch jab, which is uh, unusual among shadows, I think. No, I think Akuma's the same way. He has one extra frame. But Ken has two extra frames, I think. Or is it three? You can... I think that's like a three-frame link to do into Crutch Fierce. Which is... It's a one-frame link with a Crutch Jab. So I think you actually get two extra frames there. Is it? Is it like... It's plus five versus plus seven, I think. I don't remember. Um, but you get a lot of extra frame advantage. But it can be ducked in certain combos, I think. Hold on. Time out. Try it. Do like a straight down. Uh, that worked, but it was... It was... Uh, Close jab. That was still close jab. Wow. Ken just gets close jab. Well, that's not duckable, so that's cool. Um, but if you can do like combos into it, uh, you get a little bit of you get easier combos. You can do stuff like that um, than just using fully crouching combos, and that ends up doing a lot more damage if you get crouch fierce and combos. So, but again, I think far jab and maybe close jab on some crouching characters will just whiff. Um, his uh, jab is three frames. His crouch jab is also three frames. His crouch short is also three frames. Ken has lots of three frame moves. His light uppercut and his hard uppercut are also three frames. Ken is bleeding three frame attacks. Um, I did a... Who did I do before? Lena DJ. Um, so that's... He has really fast attacks, which is a really nice thing he has. Um, crouch jab goes decently far for a crouch jab. It's like the same as Ryu. Um, <laughs> you can combo even at max range crouch jabs. You can usually combo a low forward. Um, so that's like, and from max range low forward, you can still combo out of it from, into various things. So um, you have a lot of you have a lot of potential to get like big combos or get far combos. Is what I meant to say. Especially because his hard uppercut goes quite far as well. Um, crouch short has not so good frame advantage. I mean, it's good. It's just not as good as this jab. But it chains into his jab, so it's very common to do crush short at the start of your combos. Like, that's one of the Ken combos I see the most. It's just, like, that's just a really common starter for Ken, and then you can combo various things out of it, which I just missed, but whatever. Um, like, this is really common, too. That's, like, a really common combo. Or, like, EX Tatsu. Um, but you got the plus five or whatever from this, and then you got, I think this is this is four frames. It's uh, faster than Ryu's. Um, One thing that a lot of people don't know about his short. Yeah. Is you can actually. Yeah, you can you can combo the standing the standing one. That's actually a really cool yeah. thing. I think uh, Kuma has the same thing. That's the same window as uh, Crouch Fierce, so it's just about a width thing. Um. Anyway, uh, stand short. You can you can do some neat little stuff from that chain, as just demonstrated. Um. Far short, I don't see that much. It does anti air, but it's like a joke because Ken has so many good anti air options that like going for like a thirty damage anti air that's far only. It's like, why would you ever do that? Oh, it's 40 damage, never mind. But it actually does have, like, an anti-air hitbox that's kind of hard to trade with. I mean, it does trade, but it, like, doesn't... It's... it's. I wasn't even trying to time it. It's surprisingly effective, but it's bad. You, you shouldn't do it. You should do that. Um, anyway, forget far short. Forget close short. Uh, I don't use them that much. I don't think there's a whole lot of purpose to them. Um, far strong. Has quite a lot of frame advantage. Uh, it's mainly useful for like frame traps and stuff. You can it goes out pretty far, um, even from a pretty far connect. 
Uh, actually, it only works from pretty far. You can combo a sweep after it, I think. They, like, took that away, yeah. and then I think they gave it back. It's only on needy. Oh, shit. Maybe they didn't give it back. <laughs> Sad. No, you can set up and... You yeah, can you can you can, you can can get counter hits with it pretty easily. <sighs> I've seen that. I've seen that shit. That shit's incredible. I don't think that works on all characters, though. And then you can do a... There's yeah. a there's a way to get a far jab and get the... the if you do the link into strong, it doesn't get the first first frame of strong. There's, like, some shenanigans there. And then you can Ooh, get, like, a meaty strong. <sighs> There's shenanigans there. Anyway, that's all very specific, so we'll worry about that when we get some... Well, we won't even worry about that. This is five frames. It um, It's plus four, I think, so you can't do low strong, low strong. But you can do low strong, low forward, but it's one frame and you have better options. I think you can. Maybe it's only plus three. I'm actually not sure now. Okay, I got it. Um... That looks cool, but it's really not that useful. You can just link into uppercuts after it too, but again, not that useful. Um, low strong is more of a very specific counter poke for Ken. He has other moves that function the same purpose better. Notably, his low forward is quite fast and farther. It's faster and farther, so it's easier to link into, and it does like similar damage. Bow 60. So uh, low forward is sort of your best friend. Is I mean, it's it's every every Shoto is very low forward reliant, and Ken has. The best low forward of all the shadows. Maybe not the best, but like it the fastest. And that's really it's useful. Cool. It's up there. Um I think Ryu's five frames with his low forward. I think Akuma's six. I think Oni's five. And I think Evil Ryu is seven. Um So Ken's got the fastest low forward, which is nice. Uh well hold on. Uh stand stand forward, first of all. It um it's a it's a very picky I didn't mention this for stand short, but that's actually the main thing it does, is it changes his hurtbox, so you can make low attacks miss, and then you can whiff punish them. And that's like a nice little thing it does, but it's very specific and hard to do. It's like a high level skill, but like if you if you get to the range where, if you just walk into the range, if you know your opponent, for example, is just doing low forward as soon as you step into the range, you can walk into the range and then do an immediate stand, stand short into like sweep or something, and just counter poke them. And that's like a common strat among like high level shadow players, or like a stand short low forward EX fireball or something like, or EX Tatsu rather, stuff like that. Um, so that's like a neat little thing it does. And Sam Forward does the same thing. It also dodges lows by pu pulling his hurt box back, but it's it doesn't go as far. It or actually, it goes farther, but it's kind of difficult to actually hit attacks with it because it doesn't have a very good hitbox. So it's really not good for that at all. Um, you can pull some stuff on it, character dependent, but I really don't find that much use for it, so I can't really say with definitive certainty that it's ever worth going for because, again, I never use it. Uh, Left Forward, as I was saying, four frames. You can link into it from, like... Uh, lots of attacks, a lot of his, lot of his combos link into it. Um, stuff like that maybe also links. You got a lot of stuff. I think that links from very specific ranges. The far one. That might be that might be picky. <laughs> I got it. No, I didn't even get it. Whatever. Um, I've I've never seen anyone. I've seen people go for that as like a frame chat, but I've never seen it actually work. So, um, you know. Uh. But it is a really good move, and notably, even from max range, not if you're hitting a poke necessarily, but even from max range, you can combo into a hard tatsu. If you're hitting a poke, the first hit of hard tatsu might not connect. Because uh, when you hit a poke, the. Like here, um, do your own. If you hit a poke, um, the first hit of. The, the opponent is recovering where they actually are. See, like that? I mean, that wouldn't have hit anyway, because crouch, but like you were way too far away for the first hit to connect. And the first hit yeah. needs to connect here. Even if a Tatsu loses a hit, it still combos, which is the nice thing that Ken has. Whoa, that was max range and it didn't work. Alright, so it just doesn't work from the absolute tip. Um, anyway. Uh, but this is just a really good general purpose poke. It's Ken's best poke, and you should do it all the time. It's not really Ken's best poke, because step kick is an awesome move. Um, but this is like... A good balance between safe and annoying. Um, and you can cancel it to fireballs. It doesn't combo from max range. Ken's fireball is actually the slowest of all um, Shoto's, I think, in terms of uh, like startup. So you can't do like light normals into fireballs, Ken, whereas you can with like every other Shoto. doesn't combo. Um, it might combo from stand job. No, because even though the extra frame. No, it still doesn't work. Um, it comes from all like medium normals and stuff like that. I forget that, that move yeah. cancels because I just always link out of it. <laughs> oh shit. Um. Anyway, stand fierce, I guess. Um, far stand fierce looks like it's the same as Ruse, but it's really not. It's not as good as an anti-air. Um, 
it's you're a little late there, but it really doesn't work like the way you would expect it to. If you're getting counter, you're doing it reliably late. Um, not so good, not as good. Uh, I don't ever see people use Far Stand Fierce as Ken that much. I don't think it's probably super useful. Maybe it's like a counter poke of specific characters. If it's counter here, you can go into sweep, I think. That's cool, but that's, also, that's again, rare. very specific. Um, Crouch Fierce is really good. It's the highest damage uh, cancel that Ken has outside of Stan Ren House. But unlike Stan Ren House, you can actually link into Crouch Fierce, which means you can do stuff like um, uh, confirm combos like that. And I just fucked it up pretty bad. <laughs> There. I did a light Tatsu for demonstration purposes. Um, but you can link into Crouch Fierce, and that ends up doing more damage than all his other confirmed combos. And you can do that even from Crouch Jab, but it's one frame from Crouch Jab. So you better practice. Um, that's that's a useful thing. Oh yeah, the range is very specific too. It is the same speed as his, his slow strong. I think they're both 5 frames. So um, uh, going, lo going into low strong, going into low fierce is the same window. Which is uh, frustrating. Oh god. Oh god. This is the worst possible thing that could have happened. Uh, I'm gonna have to make this a two-parter. Fuck! Oh, I'm so mad! Alright, hold on. I got back in immediately. This is... I'd rather have a bathroom break in the middle of a fucking... <sighs> one of my other ones has, a, like, a, a bunch of drops in it. Hi. Back. Hi. Yeah, one of my other videos has a bunch of uh, disconnects in it, and it, like... I hate that, dude. I really want to just, like... I completely forgot where we were. Crouch Fierce. Uh, low Fierce, yeah. Yeah. Ah, fuck, dude. That's a minute wasted. Whatever, people can skip yeah. through the video. They can laugh at my frustrations. That's what happens in Street Fighter. Right? Fuck Street Fighter. Um, <laughs> Crouch fucking... Oh, I've got to set all the training options again. Yeah. Crouch Fierce has good... Uh, um, good Dizzy, too. Which is nice. It does 100 damage, which is more than all the other Shadows. I think it's tied for highest among the Shadows. I think there's a couple other characters who are that strong. Um, but Ryu's only does 90, I think. And uh, Sakura's only does 90. Sakura Shoto. Um, Far Run House, actually really good. Very underrated normal. I don't see people poke it with it that much, but it's actually like a super good poke. The damage is really high. It's 130. Uh, the hitbox is really good. It's decent at counter poking lows. Uh, it goes a lot farther than people are expecting. I think it goes slightly farther than the forward. Um, I think you can combo out of on counter hit. It's not really a super practical thing, but I think that works. Um, but it's like a really good poke for 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 Ken. But it's got kind of a lot of startup, which means you could get counter poke too. Um, but it's like a nice. It's there's nothing to it other than the poking. Uh, the close one looks very similar, but um, it does 20 less damage and it actually cancels. And 110 is very high damage for a cancel. And notably, um. It doesn't push the opponent out that much compared to his other cancels. So, like, if I do Crouch Fierce into a Hard Tatsu... Alright, it works on Ken. doesn't work on every character. Stand Fierce into Hard Tatsu, let's say. No, that still works, too. Let's do a slightly spaced one. Yeah, I lose a hit there, and that hit reduces the damage by quite a lot. But I think even from afar, you always get the full thing for a Stand Runner House. And that does quite a lot of damage. That's 290 for, like, a two-hit punish. That's really strong. Ken's damage is, is quite high. And for one EX bar... That's 320. That's only 30 damage for an EX bar, so that might not be worth it. But just like that, uh, the o the follow-up scenario is better off of an EX Tatsu. Notably, uh, Grappler's um, hard Tatsu on hit is minus one. So if you have a 720 or a Super Demon, you can actually punish it on hit. Um, so you have to end combos with... Uh, if, if you're fighting a Zangief and the Zangief has Ultra 1, you've got to end your combos with EX Tatsus or like other things, uppercuts. Never hard Tatsus. That's kind of a problem with Ken, but whatever. It's not a big problem. It's very easy to work around. Um, anyway, but the EX Tattoo is plus on hit, whereas the regular Tattoo is minus on hit and very de varying degrees of minus, depending on which version you pick, I think. I think they're all minus. I'm not sure. Um, oh, God, please. No. F fuck. No, dude. No. No, 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 no. If there's one more of these... Uh, uh, if there's one more of these, I'm going to have to just re-record it. No worries. Uh, fuck. Fuck, Steam. Fuck, Street Fighter. Oh my god, dude. I hate that. I'm like, it's not even my fault. I really don't want to upload something no. that, like, has a bunch of those. It just feels very bad. 
Um, anyway, training options again. Yep. Um, let's see here. Crouch roundhouse, I guess. We pretty much covered salmon house. It's just strong. You can and you can cancel into hard uppercut, cancel into tatsu. You get lots of damage. Uh, very common after like jump ins and stuff. Does quite a lot. That's 354. That's powerful. That's really powerful. Um, let's see here. Crouch roundhouse. It's really far. It's quite safe. I think it's only minus six. But the startup is kind of bad. I think it's like like eight frame startup, something around there. Um, so it's very difficult to link into. Um, actually impossible, I guess, without counter hit. And, um, or actually, I think you can stay in jab until the sweep. I think that works. Yeah, you can. So it must be like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Um, so you got, you got, you can do like the Shoto combo. I think every Shoto is capable of that combo, actually. I think Akuma can do it. He able to until, uh, now. Yeah. He, he had it in super. And they took it away. Or. I know that Soccer yeah, can do it, Ryu can do it, and I'm pretty sure Akuma can do it. I don't think Oni can. Yeah, Akuma can do it. <laughs> um, it's not super good. It goes pretty far. It goes farther than his left forward, I think. Or does it? Um, yeah. That might have been a counterpoke, though. Um, but And it is pretty safe, so you can space it to be safe. And it does do 100 damage, which is about standard for sweeps. Um, but it's really not... Um, it's outclassed in nearly every scenario you would use it, so... The only the only saving grace to it is that it's pretty safe. Um, but some characters can punish it, so don't go crazy. Uh, normals, we got command normals, we got the step kick, we got the overheads. Um, step kick is awesome. It has super, super, super good range. It's like around here, give or take. So that was slightly out of range, like there. Um, it's minus two, I think. And then like plus one. Plus one on hit, minus two on block. So... And uh, on counter hit, it goes up to plus four. So do like a focus. On counter hit, you can link out of it into, uh, I missed it, into like hard uppercut or crouch jab. And then from that, oh, that was range issue. Uh, it's not that hard to get, like react to a counter hit with step kick. And then if you ever see this, the counter hit, um, you can get the link without too much trouble. I'm actually missing it, but you know, laggy environment. There you go, I got it. I practiced that and I got it really well. And now I usually get it. Is you do um, as soon as you as soon as you see the counter hit on a step kick, you can actually do a Kara hard uppercut. Um, I missed it. And that's four frame startup technically because you've got to do one frame with the stand forward. I mean the step kick, and then do the um, um, there it was. Uh, so it's it's one frame slower. Every car is one frame slower. And you can't get the reversal, so it's actually generously... I shouldn't say reversal, but you can't buffer it. Right. So it's a little harder. Um, but uh, that makes it always work, but that makes it frame-perfect timing. But like usually after a step kick, you can just combo the hard one. Like without this, the Kara, and still have it combo. Uh, but the Kara is off of step kick, and we'll get to that in a second, as soon as I'm done talking about step kick. But step kick just moves you in really easily, and it's very safe. And the fact that it's minus Ken actually works in Ken's favor. I mean, not really. But like uh, step kick into uppercut and step kick into throw is like a mix up, and that's just a mix up you can always do. Or rather, step kick into car throw. Um, that's a mix up that's always present when you're playing Ken. And like no matter how bad it gets for Ken, you can just like at any step kick you can just like push like a 50-50 on people, and just that's super annoying to deal with because it it like even meterless that's just fully meterless. Ken can make um, Ken Ken can make the opponent guess he's never out of the match because he can he's always got a mix up he can fall back on. Um, and that's true for any situation where you can do car throw or hard uppercut or stuff like that. Especially uh, neat because hard uppercut tends to win or trade against a lot of other uppercuts. So like you have you have a decent chance of beating someone else doing like another reversal of their own. More so with strong uppercut, but that one doesn't tend to catch back dashes. Whereas uh, hard uppercut, I think pretty much always catches back dashes. I don't think it catches uh, roses or Chun Li's, but it gets everyone else. Your back dash on my cup. You can also car uppercut um, opponent's backdash, and that'll get like the full thing. I think that works. Whoa, I missed the car window. Whoa. I'm doing it too late. Ah, fuck. Cars are frame perfect. Oh, well, whatever. Let me try. Right. And then you look like you got the car. That was it. That was two hits. That was nice. Um. So yeah, you get a little extra damage doing something like that, I guess. And media uppercut, it sounds like weird to do, but it's really not weird to do because, you know, there's a big onus to throw there, and you can catch throws at startup with your invincible DPs. 
Um, that sort of stuff works really well. Um, that step kick, it, it just it gives you a lot of presence. And after one step kick, you're at a very good range for Ken because then you can do like an uppercut on a limb, like a light uppercut. You can do a car throw. You can do like a stammer house poke. You can do uh, another step kick, which is what I do all the time. Super, super good to troll yeah. people. Um, you get stuff like that. You get a lot of options off step kick. And there. It's, being close in general is fundamentally in Ken's favor compared to most of the cast. So um, he just has this really good option to close him in. It's the best step kick, like, it's it's the best move of its kind in the game. And again, uh, off of that step kick, you do have quite a lot of forward motion, so you can do things like a Kara focus or a Kara throw, and they both go uh, really far. Like, I've actually found that to be the most, uh, one of the best answers to a focusing opponent is Ken, is I'll just, um, like, Kara throw them. <coughs> that goes really far. It has such huge range, it's the biggest Kara throw in the game, I think. You can also car off of the stand round house. Or yeah. Uh, forward round house. Yeah, yeah. It's not as big though. Um. No. Anyway, uh, other command normals. He's got the back medium kick. It's a really fast overhead. It's the frame data is not great. Um, but the speed is amazing. The range is pretty good. It's really easy to space it because there's no forward motion on it. So you can do like uh like that. Like I was pretty far away on wake up, and uh. That's not going to be punishable. Yeah, and it's super easy to sneak after a block string. I do that all the time. If I like feel like I'm near a dizzy, I'll do something like like that, and then I'll just sneak one in. And that's really good, too, because people don't like hitting buttons there, because you could just uh, uh, car throw your way in after the same the same block string. And that's why Ken's car throw is really good, and why car throws in general are really good. In a scenario like that, if I throw, it's like they have to tech the throw. But if they throw and I don't do the car throw, they'll tech air, or they'll crouch tech like air. And that could potentially set them up for a whiff punish. Or, you know, open them up to like a block string into a reset DP. That was nice. The point is, the opponent has to take risks to take that throw, and that opens them up to frame traps. Oh, that's not a frame trap. Well, I missed it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it again. But you can do stuff like that. That was nice. Um, and fuck with people who are trying to crouch deck, basically. Um, so that's that's really nice thing that he has. Um, Towards Roundhouse has really, really good frame advantage for an overhead. It's actually more safe on block than hit, which is a complete abnormality. It was a glitch, but they left it in. I think it was a glitch. I don't know. Um, or it's just, it's just very inconsistent with the rest of the game. But Towards Roundhouse does... Uh, it's neutral on block. No, it's minus one. On, yeah, it's neutral on block, but it's minus one on hit. So if I'm fighting like a Zangief and he eats it, he can punish me. But if he blocks it, I'm safe. It's really weird, right? Um, but just a safe, safe on block, zero on block overhead that moves you in is super good. No, it looks like it's actually minus one on block and zero on hit. I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. I have a video. That's what FA Twitter says. I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. I tested it. I don't know. I'm just going off of FA to it, so you might be right. Mm, I'll test it myself in a second. Um, anyway, you can also fake it. And the fake, uh, not super useful, but um, if you're using a lot of this, people, it is reactable, and people will start churning uppercuts on reaction to, you know, they'll churn uppercuts and then they'll, like, meaty on wake up, rather. And then if they see the startup of that, they'll be like, oh shit, there's an overhead, and they'll hit you out of it. But if you're doing stuff like this, you can bait it. And it's it's... Quite good, because people forget it exists. It's also super good to wake up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, you can you can bait reversals, and also you can just, in general, get people into block mode. And if they're in block mode, you can do stuff like, you know... Um, stuff like that. Uh, let's see here. That's it for command normals, right? Let's talk about air normals. Neutral jumps, they are different. Uh, I find neutral jump fears to be the most consistent... Uh, neutral Jump Roundhouse does a lot of damage. Actually, I find Neutral Jump Forward to be the most consistent in terms of anti-air. Um, it goes the farthest, and it has the smallest start box. Uh, but Jump Strong, I see people use a lot, and it's not bad. And Jump Fierce does more damage than either of those, and it's not bad. If you're doing Neutral Jump in like a punish scenario, like if you're, if you, uh, if you try Neutral Jump, like a, a Zangief jumps in, you Neutral Jump as he lands, and he does like a 720, you would come down with a Jump Fierce. You wouldn't come down with Jump Roundhouse. It's picky. It doesn't always work. <laughs> um, so that's that's Jump Fierce is sort of the best neutral jumping one 
Um, but if you're anti airing, if you're like trying to keep the opponent out with neutral jumps for whatever reason, like I do, uh, neutral jump forward is quite reliable. Uh, other neutral jump normals are not notable. Uh, his jump strong is, it's, it looks like the animation of a used jump jab. It air airs really well. Um, I actually have a lot of success with that move uh, in air to air scenarios. It is quite fast, it has a really good hitbox. Uh, the damage isn't all there though. Um, jump fierce, there's shenanigans with it because of the way the hitbox connects. Uh, you can get like cross up jump fierces from very specific ranges that are very difficult to block or react to. Um, and then there's also some. It has like a. It has a pretty small hurtbox compared to other jump ins. But like there's a range I think where you can do like a cross up medium kick and a, a non cross up jump fierce, but it's very small. It's like one pixel. Um, but there's some there's some cool shenanigans with jump fierce and very good freight cross ups off of it, and that's nice. Um, but uh, yeah, early jump fears can stop you from crossing up, whereas you would normally cross up with a jump forward. Um, four jumps. Besides that, you got jump roundhouse, which is the conventional one because it goes the farthest. It also is a pretty good anti-air. So good on Ken. Um, yeah, really good range. Uh, jump forward is a pretty deep cross up. It's bigger than Rio's. Um, it can be picky here and there on actually catching. So a lot of people use jump short sometimes, which is also harder to get an autocorrect DP on. Jump short is actually a very reliable cross up too. Um, so that's nice. It's a nice little tool he has. Jump short also does a very low hit stun, so you can do stuff like uh, into immediate throw. And people aren't usually re they're usually ready to tech throws, but they're not usually ready to tech throws that early. So uh, you can get um, um, you can sneak that on people. Um, Apart from that, that's pretty much all his jump normals, right? And then you have jump Tatsu to fool around with as well. But I don't think jump short, yeah. yeah. You pretty much always use jump jump short, jump forward, jump roundhouse. They're like the conventional ones. And you'll use them based on what you want to do. Um, that's it for jump normals. Let's talk about special moves. He's only got the three. Um, you got an uppercut. It's super, super Ken. The, the Kenest move in the game. Um, 120 damage for the light one, slightly higher than all the other shadows. Actually, Oni might be 120 as well. Um, actually, I think he's 100. But uh, the fr the recovery on it's really fast. I think Ryu's is actually faster. I think Ken's used to be faster, but they slowed down the recovery post super. Um, but you got a really really quick recovery on that light DP, which lets you do a lot of combos out of it on like airborne opponents, like jump in on me. Um, you can do like uh, that. It's quite common from Ken's or like into hard or into medium. Um, or into like EX Fireball also works. Wow, I got a really deep connect there. Hard uppercut still would have worked. The point is it recovers really fast, and then you can even do stuff like this. Mm. Very common. Um, so you get really good anti-air options off of the light uppercut. Unfortunately, it doesn't. It has two frames of invincibility, I think, and then the third frame it wears off, and the third frame is the frame it hits, so it tends to uh, trade a lot if you do it in footsies. Um, it does the same damage as Hard Uppercut it, on FADC. It's 120 for two hits of Hard Uppercut and 120 for one hit of Light Uppercut. And for scaling purposes, they are the same. They're both one action. So it's literally, it doesn't matter. Hard Uppercut is usually better because it gives you more time to react, but also is worse frame advantage. Um, uh, it's three frames, which means you can technically anti-safe jump with it, which is nice. Um, medium Uppercut is actually four, it's slower. And Hard Uppercut is also 3, so you can anti-safe jump with that one too. Um, that's quite a rare skill. Very few characters have good anti-safe jumps. Uh, but safe jumps aren't really... They kind of dropped off ever since Ultra came out and Delayed Standing became a thing. Um, you still see them though. If you if you're active in a safe jump setup, uh, you can get like an anti-air uh, Hard Uppercut, and that's pretty useful. Um, EX Uppercut is also 4 frames. Ken has radically different uses for all his different uppercuts. Light one is usually use it like as an early anti-air. You use it as like a, an anti-poke. That one's pretty risky, but I like it a lot. It's like, let's say you're a Ken player, and you're just chilling down back, and as soon as you see me walk into low forward range, no, just like, like defensive mode, uh, as soon as you see me walk into low forward range, you want to poke me with that low forward. And that's like a lot of that's how a lot of Shoto's play, you know? You can just walk into low forward range and then light uppercut, and... Um, uh, it's super good. Like you can, if they, if they, they'll, they're likely to poke. Even if you don't necessarily catch them, if they poke at the wrong time, they won't necessarily have a punish. But um, it gets a knockdown on the first hit, which the other uppercuts don't. Which means that uh, it's um the best one for catching pokes. Um, but that's that's decently that's decently high reward, 
and less risk than you would think. Just because of the high likelihood they could commit to something at the same time and not necessarily get a punish. And it doesn't recover point blank either. Uh, but when I see people who are always trying to do um, anti-walk-in kind of things like that, I start pulling that out and I have really good success with it. But again, it's not so good with his other uppercuts. That actually worked pretty well. Medium is terrible for it. <laughs> um, medium uppercut has the most damage, I think. I think it does 10 more than his hard uppercut. 150, and hard uppercut's 140. And it also has the most invincibility. It's, um, I think, 6 frames invincible, 4 frames startup, I think. Or is it 5 frames invincible, 4 frames startup? I think it's 6. And um, that makes it the best anti-air. It doesn't have the most range of all his uppercuts. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a really good uppercut for going far, so you have to do like a car uppercut, which you can't even do with medium. You have to do it with hard. Um, or you can just do like a B works, actually, as a far anti air. Um, you can carry a D, uh, medium DP with Roundhouse. Oh, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Neat. Um, cool. So you do have, uh, I guess, a far anti air option in that same attack. But one problem with anti air and medium uppercut, jump in from here and do like an empty jump. Is you can. You can you can you can misjudge the range. It relies on hitting normals from certain ranges, and if they don't do the normal, you'll just whiff. Yeah, um, you carry with roundhouse. It's a five frame. DP. Yeah, yeah, it's still good though. That's still fast. Dude, that's jump in. Bad. Jump in. Oh fuck, he moved in. I was gonna try and do the car. Mm, I did the car successfully. I didn't hit the first hit though. Anyway, um, medium's the best anti-air. Um, that's its main purpose, and it also does the main, the most damage. Unfortunately, it kind of sucks for combos, because of shit like this. Oh shit, I didn't even get the cancel. Oh, that actually... That was weird. You're in the corner. Does that work? Weird oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yes, dude! Chun-Li! Chun-Li's the one! If you get a focus crumple on Chun-Li, and you do, like, backdash in the corner, you can do, like, that, and it gets the second hit really late, and you can do ultra. Not only Chun-Li... It actually works on pretty much every character, just at different ranges. Yeah, John Lee's is really a setup. That's the one I know it for. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> like a micro <laughs> micro walk forward. <laughs> that sounds so difficult. Yeah, let me let me try it. You can actually get it off of like a close roundhouse. Roundhouse sometimes too, but the range is kind of weird. Oh, super. Whoops. There are worse problems to have. Oh yeah, and the first hit... I forgot, that's... I, I fucked up. That's an ultra change. The first hit of medium uppercut knocks down, it didn't used to. Oh shit. That didn't used to happen. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, so, one. that used to be... The thing about this, I thought I, I thought I got the second hit only. But, um, the thing about that is it used to get the first hit only, and the second hit would whiff, and it wouldn't knock down, so it was punishable on hit. It was pretty funny looking. I'm sad that it's gone, actually. Um... So, hard uppercut is kind of the big, complicated one. It's got the most range of any of them. Uh, except DX, I guess. Uh, it's got three frame startup, so again, it's insanely fast. Um, you get 150... D oh, it's the same now! They changed it! I fuck Ken. Ken keeps changing. Um, you get 150 damage off of it, which is pretty good. Uh, it's not as good for anti-air, even though it's three frames... Uh, three frame startup. Uh, it's four frames invincible, so you do have enough... You do have a window. It's invincible till after it hits, so you do have a window where you can get anti-air with it, but it tends to lose a hit on a jump-in. But if you do get the first hit on jump-in, uh, it's a free juggle state, which is quite uh, abnormal. And you can do some cool stuff with that. See, I missed the first hit. Oh, that was it. Yee! So if it's, more, it's more risk, more reward for doing anti-air hard versus anti-air medium. Uh, but generally you want to use anti-air medium because it's more invincible and thus more reliable. Um, the last hit um, of. Let me. Also, if you FADC hard uppercut, do medium up cover as a follow up. Yeah, not hard. hard. Yeah, that's like a common beginner's mistake. The thing about hard uppercut is, even though it's a three hit uppercut, the first hit actually doesn't knock down. So the way it works is no juggle potential, no juggle potential, one hit of juggle potential, which is abnormal compared to other three hit like or other juggle style moves. Uh, people tend to misinterpret it. Uh, you only get the final hit in juggles, so the final hit only does thirty. Whereas the second hit of medium uppercut does, I think, like 60 or something. Yeah, so you get quite a bit of extra damage using ending with the medium uppercut. But uh, it's for what it's worth, the medium uppercut's range is a lot tighter, so jump in on me. Yeah. Uh, it, can be, it can be very difficult to get light uppercut, medium uppercut. But light uppercut, hard uppercut is very reliable. So it, try to car out with Ranha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try that. <laughs> well, that, was, that was deep enough that it would work anyway. 
Oh shit. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. That's cool. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have to start applying that to my game. But it sucks if you drop it, because if you drop it and they quick stand, they can um punish you. Yeah. So I like hard uppercuts consistent anyway. Um but that's thirty extra damage, so that is worth practicing. That's thirty free damage with just like getting a car properly. Um anyway. Uh, on counter hit, the first hit of hard uppercut knocks down, and the second hit of uppercut normally knocks down and adds JP1, but on an airborne opponent, it won't add JP. That probably makes no sense to any of you, but um, what I'm trying to say is it maintains a free juggle state if they're already um, here. Do it again. See how that launches on the first hit? Hold on, let me actually demonstrate like this. There, launched on first hit. The first hit doesn't normally launch. So uh, that creates a free juggle state, which means you can juggle into anything. Um, like normals. And that also means by association. I didn't even FADC it, what the fuck? Uh, you can get full connect culture ones. And it's not that hard to get a counter hit with a hard uppercut because it does. You can like counter hit crouch techs, you can counter hit like pokes and stuff. Maybe not pokes, but like uh, the startups of various normals. Um, it's very common in, as a Ken player, like if that string is blocked, to just do an uppercut anyway and then just kind of hope that you counter hit a um, crouch tech. Very common. Oh. That's another thing you can do. Uppercuts during block strings. It's not too bad to get a counter hit. Like if someone misses their link, you can uppercut and then yeah. and then uh, get a free counter hit into FADC Ultra. And that hurts. But the balancing factor of hard uppercut is that it's actually more unsafe than every other DP in the game. Um, first hit FADC, which you never do, but it's there. And you can actually link out of it. It's plus three. Um, or maybe plus four. Oh yeah, you can do that too. Um... But first hit, FADC is minus 5 on dash in, which is like other uppercuts, meteorless uppercuts that are invincible. But if you do the second hit, FADC, it's actually minus 7. So if they block it, like you could block it, and if I dashed in, you could punish me with a low forward quite comfortably. That will be tight, but possible. Oh, sorry, my bad. Remember, the, the, the button press is really fast, really early. There you go, that was a punish. So, um, what can players commonly do here, block again, is, uh, oh, sorry. That is you just do a level two focus and then you, uh, release. But that can be counter too. Do it on me. Do two hit. Yeah, you can reversal. Invincible reversals will beat it. There's a, it's not a true block string. Uh, but then you could focus back dash, yeah, and that would make, that would make my uppercut whiff. Oh, my bad. I got confused. So, um, ooh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's you can use a mix-up to make it safe, basically. But there are some things that catch it no matter what. Like if I'm fighting Ryu, and uh, I do uppercut, two-head uppercut of ADC. If I do a forward dash, if I do a release, if I do a back dash, no matter what, if he does super, it punishes. Um, and there are a lot of things like that. Maybe not a lot, but like uh, oh, um, Dudley, Dudley Ultra One. You see that one at next level battle circuit a lot. Yeah. Smug does that. Um, but it's seven frames, so it catches the forward dash if it's a reversal. It beats the um, release, and it catches back dash. So it's just a hard counter to all follow-ups if you do two hit FADC. Um, but like various characters will have that. you just got to think about what your character has and whether it'll work. Um, EX Uppercut does, I think, the most damage of all of them. 200, quite strong. Um, it juggles three hits. So it does quite a lot of damage in juggles. Unfortunately, if you're doing like FADCs, you burn a lot of bar doing that. But quite commonly, if you do an anti-air, like Ryu does uh, EX Fireball, and he gets 100 damage. Ken does too, off of the EX Fireball. But if you do an EX Uppercut, you get three hits, and it does quite a lot. You get extra damage doing that. So that's your best follow-up after um, um, after a Light Uppercut anti-air. That's your best juggle in general. And you can get some weird juggles with Ken. Like here, this is one I get sometimes. Neutral Jump for me. Ken has weird juggles. All of Ken's uppercuts require er, recover quite fast. Also so, in the corner. Yeah, you can do light uppercut to EX uppercut. That's uh, one frame. No. It's easier on some characters than others actually, but it does. It's 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 max damage for one bar, so it is worth going for. Uh, you can also just do like EX Tatsu, but that's not as strong. It's not near as strong. That was Sandman House. Um, EX Tatsu. That was 320. Oh shit. I didn't even I do a 342 on my last combo uh, damage. Oh yeah, that's 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 correct then. So you get an extra 22 damage. Not bad. Um, so that's that's a uh, good tool he has. Is you can combo light uppercut to EX uppercut in the corner. Um, that used to work with hard uppercut, but now they sped they slowed down the recovery. The second hit of hard, the third hit of hard uppercut doesn't come out in time. 
So uh, it's the second hit of, e of EX Uppercut that has struggle potential, and then all the ones following it. Um, anyway. Uh, that's pretty much uppercuts in a nutshell. And EX has the most invincibility, I think. And it has the most damage. So if you really want to close out the round with an anti-air, it's quite common to anti-air EX uppercut. It also has like really good range. Um, toxic high, it's totally unrelated, but I think the hardest trials are probably poisons. <laughs> just because of the really inconsistent nature of the pushback. Um, anyway, all the new trials are really hard. Uh, fireball, I guess. 50, 60 damage, I think. Um, it's good in terms of fireballs. The recovery is fast. I think it's like a couple frames slower than Ryu's. Hey, nice. Car fireball. It's really not that useful, but it's cool looking. Um, it's His slow fireball is quite slow, and his fast fireball is quite fast. It's not as big a dissonance as Ryu. Uh, his EX fireball is actually, I think, the fastest of all Shoto's. It used to be anyway. I don't know if it still is. That's a good and a bad thing. Yeah. Um, it doesn't knock down. That's also a good and bad thing. Uh, you can do stuff like um, combo out of it like that, which is, you know, not bad. You wouldn't normally do that combo. You'd do uh, Ultra 2 in almost all instances if you had it. Uh, it's too slow to do Ultra 1, unfortunately. You can do... Uh, in the corner, you can get some weird combos, too. Oh, I've seen that, yeah, actually. You can do, like, um, you can do, uh, whoa, Stan Roundhouse and stuff. Stan Roundhouse. I yeah. dropped it, but that works. Um, you're quite frame advantage, though. That's the point. Um, oh, shit, jump short. I didn't mention that when we were talking about jump normals. Fake cross-up, uh, jump short. It's awesome! It hits on the front. It never oh, crosses up. Fake cross up. Yeah. It can cross up. Yeah, it can cross up if you do it super deep. But, like, just that mix-up. And not only, like, no one expects you to not cross up. So, like, I get that all the time. It's very difficult to combo out of, though. Very difficult. Almost impossible. Hey, that's nice. Crouching! The only easy way to, to block it is to just move forward out here. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, one, one thing I heard people do is they'll block, like, backwards. Like as though, yeah, like that, as though they're blocking a cross up, and then if they get hit, they mash reversals, or rather, whether they get hit or not, yeah. they mash reversals. Because the light one you can't combo out of, but the medium one you can. So, like, uh, they'll probably the cam will probably do a two block string off of the cross up, and then if he if he doesn't do the cross up, you have time to get an uppercut out. But that's very difficult actually. Um. Anyway, uh, fireballs. Uh, unfortunately, you have to combo from medium normals or hard normals, and. Uh, his forward dash isn't that good. For it's good, but it's not good for this. Um, it's very difficult to get like good combos. You can't combo like a crouch fierce most of the time, I think. Yeah, or like a stand fierce. So you usually have to go into sweep or low forward. That's like what people usually do. Yeah, that's nice combo of uh, close forward keeps you close. Um, no, it was a uh, medium punch. Oh, medium punch. Whatever. That's nice. Um, Rio has something similar. Um. EX Fireball gets you absolutely nothing trading with other Fireballs. So it gets you 50 damage. I mean, that's not absolutely nothing, but like you don't get a knockdown or anything. So that's kind of lame. Of not using EX Fireball. Yeah, the EX Fireball is almost always outclassed by, like, in after confirms, EX Tatsu does a lot more damage. In Juggles, EX DP does a lot more damage. Honestly, EX, Ta EX Fireball is not that used. Um, the range where Ken can do low forward Fireball is lower than other Shoto's. I think I just found about the max range. Um... It's not a true block string from even very close. Or not very close, but like it's quite it's very difficult to space it, so it's a true block true block string. That was a combo though. But yeah, that wasn't a true block string because you managed to get hit between. But yeah, you can get uppercutted between the hits. Yeah, that was nice. Very simple. Try to me. Oh shit, that was too close, dude. Yeah, that was good enough. Ugh, it's hard. Alright, I got this. <laughs> I got this, I got this. <laughs> I didn't even get reversal. Um that's a nice thing that EX Uppercut does, I never mentioned. It's not super useful, but if you see a fireball from about this far away, you can actually reaction EX Uppercut it. I never see anyone do it, but it works. You don't get all four hits, but you get, like, two or three. And um, it goes through fireballs. It's, like, really weird to suggest that. Reese does it, too. And I never see anyone do that through fireballs, but it's actually not bad. Throw me a fireball. Oh, fuck, I wouldn't react. Like that. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I never see anyone do that, but it's not terrible. I think you can do it with EX Tatsu too. Uh, EX Tatsu, it does. It's not fast enough. You need uh, quite a lot of. You need quite a lot of. Uh, I don't even know if EX Tatsu goes over fireballs. No, it does. Hmm. Um, but you need a. Uh, Ryu has better of that because yeah. his Tatsu does the same damage regardless of distance, whereas Ken's loses damage the farther away you do it. I like to. You play HD Remix. You ever use Ken's Tatsu in that game? It's fast. I really liked it in I'll that be game. Honest. 
Yeah. Uh, I've barely played even ST. Oh shit. Well, that's fine. I barely played ST. Um. Let's see here. Uh, what else about fireballs? Is that just it? Low forward fireball FADC. Uh, especially spaced. Um, I'm uh, maybe only spaced. I forget. But you can do FADC Ultra Two, and that's a two bar like Ultra Two setup, and that's really good. Yeah. Monk. There, I got it. First try. Cool. I think it it either only works spaced or it's incredibly precise if it's not spaced. You can do this. Oh shit, we never mentioned that. <laughs> that's actually, yeah, the thing about uh, Hard Uppercut, oh my god, that's cute. No, honestly, there's so many stupid things you can do in that scenario. I like this one, this is my favorite. Oh fuck, didn't even crumple. Oh shit, I missed it. <laughs> that works though, it's stupid as hell, and you can even get follow-ups after it. Oh, I missed it. That works. That whole thing works. It's fantastic. Yes! Taunting! Yes! Ken is so... Okay, so the thing about um, <laughs> Crumple is that after you hit about your knees, give or take, it's like... Now. It's like there. Uh, you're airborne. <laughs> and um, once you're airborne, like, things that look weird... Like, you characters with air throws can neutral jump and air throw you. Uh, Geef can get, like, incinerator Air Ultra 2 on some characters. Uh, stuff like that. Um... But one of the things one is, of my is uh, simple. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, uh, but I've seen I've seen this. This is cool. Oh, we're talking about Ken gimmicks now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shenanigans. Um I've seen some other oh that works? Might be corner only. In the corner. Yeah. Alright, alright, hold on. There's another one I was oh. thinking of. Yes, the cross up. Beautiful. That Dun in the corner too. Oh my god. Um, shit, there was another one. Oh yeah, you can do this. Oh, this is corner only actually. Let's actually, it's cool. Trust me. Um, oh, I dropped it. You can get every version of your uppercut in one combo. Ooh, that's cool. I've never seen that one. You have so many shenanigans. Anyway, the point of uh, Hard Uppercut's first hit is that it has to be either an airborne connect or a counter hit. The point is it has to hit an airborne... You're... Your, your okay, I guess that's just it. Airborne airborne connect or counter hit. And uh, that's one of the ways to get an airborne connect. It doesn't end up doing more damage. It's not like it's not like you should wait and then do the Hard Uppercut and then FADC Ultra 1. If you just, ult FADC, if you just do the Focus Crumple and then Ultra 1, it'll do more damage and save you two bars. I don't, I don't actually know if it does more damage. Like, yeah, if you want to style, you it, should style. It, Ken is a stylish it character. A bit more damage, I think. Oh, okay, or but it's still two bars. It's not worth two bars. Otherwise. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, this is all not practical at all for Ken combos. Let's talk about Tatsu. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um. Someone in chat. Uh, you can. He's got an air Tatsu and a ground Tatsu for. We're gonna we're gonna pretend they're different special moves because technically they have different properties and stuff. Um, Air Tatsu has it changes the speed is different depending on which version you do, and also the damage is different depending on which version you do. The air to air is spectacular. I get uh, it usually gets two hits in air to air scenarios, and the damage is pretty good. But like it counter pokes a lot of stuff air to air. It's Seventy per hit. Um, oh, dude, I know that trick. Hold on, I'm I'm good at it. Oh shit, no, I'm not. You have to. I'm doing it too early. You have to do it as soon as you start falling. That was too late. This trick is so cool. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Neutral jump and then land on the other side. And that makes reversal swift too. That's the best part. Um, yeah. Fuck these Ken gimmicks. Uh, cross up Tatsu <laughs> is very common. You can from the same jump get a normal connect jump in or a uh, cross up Tatsu. And that's really difficult to react to. It's possible. It's really difficult. You can also auto correct to punish it, but that's also... Like the the difficulty will depend on the character you're playing and also like the uh, the range where it's done, but it can be very difficult to get out of this. But it's basically a true mix-up. Um, with good reaction, you can actually like block correctly, or not even good reaction, just like a very specific side switch block. Like um, the time in which he hits you is different depending on which one he does. So like the the non-crossable hit first, so you just hold straight back and then straight forward at a very precise window. Um, so there are ways out of it, but it works. It's very difficult to block out of. And if you don't have a reversal, it's a pretty nice little, like, people tend to block the wrong way. And you can combo out of both. Oh, that's a nice option, too. Um, you can do, uh, um, uh, ooh, that was cool. 
If you do a cross up Tatsu, you can combo a low forward, and then from the low forward, you can combo like a Tatsu or an uppercut, um, stuff like that. And of course, from a regular jump in, you can combo all kinds of stuff. Um, you can do like a crouch jab, crouch forward. That's really common. Um, anyway, you get good damage off of either one, and it's very difficult to react to which one's coming. So that's a really nice option. You can cross up with the other versions too. I usually use light. I was using light just now. I don't. The hard does more damage. Um, the light is the easiest generously to cross up with, but uh, the hard one's a little. I don't know. This is kind of picky. <laughs> I disagree. I think EX is easier. Oh, EX is the easiest by far. I wasn't even. I wasn't even gonna. I didn't even mention it yet. Oh. EX is fantastic. EX kicks the ass of the other ones. I think it only does 40 per hit. It's yeah, it's weaker. Um, but it's unlike the others, you can actually get multiple on a single jump in versus most of the cast, and that gives you a lot of reaction time. If you know the window, I haven't done it in a while. Um, you can turn an ultra two. Oh, shit, dude, it's Ken Small. I don't think you can get two hits on a non on a cross up, but you can definitely get two hits on a non cross up versus almost the whole cast. This is weird. It's really easy to fake a cross up here and or six eight. Whoa! There it is. Front then back. That was weird. Oh, that was that's the one. That's the one I'm looking for. Uh, but if you if you know the window for that, you can do it, and then like turn an ultra two, and then on reaction to the ultra two, you can just even with a non ex one, or not a non ex, even with a one hit one, you can uh, ultra two on reaction to a successful one. You can do ultra one as well. Yeah. Ultra 2 is a uh, bigger range, so it works even after cross-up ones, but Ultra yeah. 1 still works. Um, but Ultra 2 is uh, its very consistent, but they both work. Um, that's a really good option he has, though, because like the same jumps, once again, you can have a cross-up Tatsu, and you get a lot of time to react there. Like, it's really common. Or like a uh, EX Tatsu as well is very common. The EX one has really good frame advantage. Also, um, every hit of the EX one is an overhead. Which is something that probably should be patched because most air special moves are not overheads. Um, yeah, it's a little cheaty. Uh, if you do like a jump in EX Tatsu and it's the two hit one and they high block the first hit and then switch to crouch block, which is what most people do, the second one can hit them. So uh, there's some shenanigans there. Um, really good against tall characters mostly, but good against anyone. Very easy to get the cross up. Uh, as for the ground Tatsu, um, it's the light one and the medium one, you don't really see at all. The light one is mostly used for gimmicks. The medium one is, for the most part, not used at all. Um, oh, yeah. The startup. I think... Uh, mm, yeah. I think that's actually, like, highest damage, right? No. Hard uppercut. Hard uppercut does... Hard uppercut does 70. All those do 60. So hard uppercut's better. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm interrupting. What's yeah, the X? 50. Uh, that'd be really yeah. cool. That's a good swag combo, anyway. Oh, shit. I dropped it. It works in the corner. <laughs> I don't know if it works in the Oh shit, it doesn't even work in the corner. Yeah. Well, the non. The non... Whoa, maybe just not after Stan Roundhouse. That's sad. No. Um, maybe sure. Maybe like. Well, Hard Uppercut works no matter what, so that's probably the best. Yeah. That's not useless, but it's not that good. Um. Let's see here. Uh, hard is your general combo ender. That or hard uppercut. Hard hard Tatsu does slightly more damage unless it loses hits and then it does slightly less damage. Um, I think. Um, it's it leaves the opponent standing and that situation. Ken's minus one. The 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 user of the the hard Tatsu is minus one. So uh, it gives the opponent slightly more time to commit than you know than you have. Which gives them, which means that if you end it, if you follow up with like a hard uppercut, um, you can catch people trying to hit buttons or tech throws or various things like that. Um, and you know, you've got your delayed back throw, you've got your crouch techs, you've got your, you've got your various own defensive options, and you've also got, you know, you've got three frame buttons up the butt. So uh, if you're fighting like a Goken or some character without a three frame move, does Goken have a three frame? Close forward, I think, is three frames for Goken, isn't it? Whatever, some character without a three frame uh, button, like Rufus, you can, uh, even though you're minus one, the worst that possibly happens is if you trade. If you're using like a. I think it's counter. Is crouch three frame. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about yeah. that. Um, but that's a nice little thing that can. Can, can, if, he's, if Ken's fighting a character without a three frame button, which is unfortunately very few characters now, uh, you can really kind of bully them with the hard Tatsu. But it's good anyway, because uh, more minus frames gives um, the opponent more time to try and do something. Which is yeah, I'm not a fan hits. of that situation. Because it's kind of like a guess on both people's ends. Yeah, it is. But uh, I feel like Ken up close has the better end of the, the, better end of the thing. I agree. I agree. 
Um, it's it's good for comebacks. That's really, really what it comes down to. If if Ken has two bars, it's fantastic. But if Ken doesn't have two bars, like it's a situation you might want to avoid. But that's the really nice thing is you can just end combos with like hard uppercut. Like that still does good damage. And you get a and, crazy good mix up. Yeah. So it's like Ken gets to make that decision. And a lot of people, some Kens, oh god, some Kens always end in hard uppercut, some Kens always end in hard Tatsu, some Kens do it by ear. Um, oh god. Ooh. Uh, what else? I guess EX Tatsu uh, will always get all the hits regardless of how far away your low forward is. Or not all the hits, you lose the startup hit in any scenario. But um, from combos where you're really far away, and it's plus one. So you have a if you do a three frame jab immediately afterwards, you'll either counter hit them or you know they might be able to reversal out. But um, the situation is in your favor instead of being in the opponent's favor. Um, no two frame almost anywhere in the game. Um, so that's good for Ken. Uh, he gets good for specials. Yeah, yeah. I think there's not that much more to ground ex Tatsu. It just does the most damage of any special moves, and it uh, uh, has a nice little follow up. And it gets all the hits. Um, oh, and even his hit confirms, you can end in a... Oh, yeah, that that's I think that's one frame. I think you have a... I think you're plus three after that. That didn't combo. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, super. His super is kind of weird. Uh, the light one is two frames. I think the medium one is three. The hard one is five. I think that's how it works. They might all be two. I forget. Um... But the light one is definitely two frames, and that's pretty fast. That's faster than most attacks can be. So there are some attacks that you can punish with light super that aren't normally punishable. For example, Oni's light slash. No Oni knows that, but I know that. So um, that move, Oni's do that, and then I like reversal light super, and then they like, what the hell, that's a punish. Um, yeah, they are all two frames straight up. Yeah, okay, right, cool. Um, it does decent damage. It combos quite easily from a lot of stuff. I don't really use it that much. I probably use it more than most Kens even considering. Uh, you can combo it from... There's some cool stuff you can do with it. It technically works after a anti-air light DP, but it's very easy to miss. I think you have to use the medium one there. Do it for me, jump. Um, do like a... It's kind of late. Yeah, that didn't even get that much damage, really. Uh, but you can do like that. And that's not terrible. Uh, you can do it after like a... Stuff like that, I think, works. Oh, no, you need the fireball for that one. I forgot about that. The fireball is actually essential. Whoa. That's such a stupid looking combo. It dropped. What the fuck? <laughs> it didn't drop. No, it, it dropped. It, I got the link, but then um, the fireball wasn't a combo from the left forward. Um. Like, I, I linked the super from the fireball combo into the super and the stand, the left forward combo from the stand forward. Um, but you can do stuff like that. That's not really that practical. Um, crazy stuff in the corner. Yeah, crazy stuff in the corner. Actually, even mid-screen, I feel like this is worth mentioning. Wow, yeah, if you do um, like a combo into hard uppercut, two hits into... No, just grounded. Uh, hard uppercut, two hits into light super. It does quite a lot of damage, but you can actually get a ultra one off of it. And that does a lot. <laughs> That's really powerful. So in a punish scenario, if you have super and ultra, you actually get a shit ton of damage. I think that works on every character, too. Um... You can get it even really deep in crumples. It doesn't do quite as much damage as it does uh, uh, on a grounded connect as it does in an airborne one. The grounded connect is stronger. I think I was I fucked up that sentence. Uh, you can do stuff like this, and it's really strong. Like Ken's corner combos are powerful. This is this is that was ultra double, and I did 555 for that last combo. But you can do like um, like this, and that gets a full super because you get the grounded connect. Oh, I dropped it too, but you get the you get the juggle ultra two there as well. Uh, that's not a cancel, is it? There you go. That's 640 with double ultra. So it does, like... It's bound to do somewhere in there almost 700 with, uh... Um... Ultra 1. Oh. And if you do, uh... If you do one of the... If you do, uh, uppercut there, it's easier, but, uh... It does less damage because of scaling. Oh, yeah, that's totally practical. Five meter heroes. <laughs> five meter heroes. Uh, Sagat has an infinite if you have unlimited bar. Freeze in yeah. the corner forever. Or not actually forever, but like, you know, enough to drain a full health bar. Sagat is like a. Um, I forget. I think it's a 167 instances of super before it starts falling out. I forget. Uh, Error 1 did a video on it, I think. Someone did. Um, and uh, there was like. He found like the max juggle potential uh, in the game. Like, even for, like, moves that have unlimited juggle potential. Like Sagat Super. Um, yeah. 
and uh, I guess 167 or whatever it was times four bars is the price of that combo. Um, but his super, apart from that, not super useful. It is two frames, and it does go really far, actually. I think you can actually... Here, throw me a fireball. I've never tried this before. Whoa. Uh, I believed for a second. That'd be really cool, though. I know you can do it in block strings. Yeah, that works. I can guarantee that works. Oh, shit. Cool. It's tight. Why do they, they make this shit so hard? Oh, I got it. Oh, it doesn't even work. Maybe it's because I was cornered. No, I think that just doesn't work. <laughs> I don't like it. You wouldn't do that. You would do Ultra 2 or Ultra 1 or Uppercut. EX Uppercut would be the best options there. Ultra 2 is probably the best. Oh, shit. I used to be really good at this. I'm confused. What happened? What became of me? Have I just forgotten how to mash motions really fast? I got counter hit out of something. That wasn't even a reversal! Yeah. It still hits. Yeah, it still hits. But still, uh, up close. Depending on the range, reversal might be required. Um, so, in terms of ultras, uh, it's matchup specific. Uh, it really depends on what you like to... It's not even really... Like, you can make an argument for either ultra in any matchup, really. Uh, it all depends on how you want to land ultras. You cannot land ultra 2 after a show you can have ADC. Or rather, you can, but it's shitty. Uh, here, focus, <laughs> focus for me. Oh. We. Um, you can technically get it to juggle, but it still does ass damage. Yeah, it is just nothing. You can, yeah, you can get a lot of hits of it actually, or more than two anyway. I think there's some character who gets carried all the way. Um, yeah. But that's a that's a big failing because that's arguably his best uh, ultra setup is so you can FADC and you can't do it for that. But it, you can get it off of a. Fireball FADC, and that's really useful. That's still two bars, but it's a different kind of two bars. Um, neat. I like that one. That was cool. That was actually really cool. Let me try. Oh, damn, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> you can actually do um, another two dashes and then end in DP instead of Ultra. Oh, shit, dude. I should have done that. Shit, I, I lost my fingers for a second. <laughs> oh, that's so hard. That's a cool juggle, though. I don't even care. I'll try one more time, then I give up. I wasn't ready. Whatever. Did the same damage. Um, so, Ultra 1, you can get off of uh, non cross up EX Tatsus and maybe some cross up EX Tatsus. You can get it off of. Um, uh, you can't get it off Fireball FADCs. That's Ultra 2 only. You can't even get it off of EX Fireball FADCs. That'd be really cool, too, because that'd be really powerful. Um, it would be. But it doesn't even... Even if you do it frame perfect, I think it doesn't work. Maybe spaced frame perfect, it might work. Um, but, like, I've never even seen that. I think you might uh, crouch for me real quick. Ooh, yeah? Oh. Because you, you do have more frame advantage there. There? No, I didn't block. I should have blocked. <laughs> Shit. I believe too hard. Um, whatever. Not super important. Uh, it definitely works on Chun Li. Oh yeah, excellent. Ch yeah, Chun Li. Chun Li ducks really low and fireballs. I've seen that. Is fireballs will hit her deep when she's in crouch recoil. She like rec she moves <laughs> out of the way of fireballs and then back into it. I've seen like Sagat combos against Chun Li that are dumb as hell. Yeah, five loops with ten. <laughs> um, Stupid. but like Ex Tatsu. Is jump in EX Tatsu is a good setup for Ultra 2, whether you get a cross up or not. Um, low forward, F Fireball, FADC. I didn't even mention this, but Ultra 2 is a really good Fireball punish for Ken. Is if the opponent Fireballs from like, hold on, where is it? Up until about like here. If the opponent Fireballs, you can Ultra 2 reaction punish. And it does pretty good damage. The farther you are away, the less damage it does, but it's still pretty strong. So you can shut down Fireball characters by doing that. Um... And that's a really useful... So, theoretically, if you wanted to label them, uh, Ken's Ultra 2 is the anti-fireball ultra. Uh, you can anti-air with Ultra 1. I never see people do it for good reason. It tends to fail, but it does technically work. Um, sometimes it doesn't get the full connect. Um, but not getting the full connect is a small price to pay. It does pretty good damage. Uh, you can also get, you know, anti-air uppercut and then just juggle into Ultra 1. Whoa! I love Ken. <laughs> that was so cool. Holy shit, that was just, I hit your limb behind you. 
Um, but that's like a nice thing. Uh, you can you can do like anti-air juggles into into Ultra One, but not Ultra Two. Um, there's not a whole lot of setups for both of them, but the setups you the setups that exist are quite easy to get. You can get crumple setups. You can get counter hit uh, shoryukens without too much difficulty. You can get shoryuken FADC without too much difficulty. I personally think shoryuken FADC is uh, the best ultra setup in the game, like for any character. Oh. Yeah. Ken does have an unblockable. Oh shit! Still. Oh yes, I see what you mean. No one. Completely unblockable. No one. <laughs> no one will defend themselves correctly there. Literally no one. It's like a. It's it's a hundred percent guaranteed. Shit. Is is it's I've never had anyone take that throw in my life. Um What else about it? What else about oh you normal people do uh sweep there. Unfortunately you can't oh, I didn't even get it. Unfortunately you can't get a whole lot there. Because even low forward uh won't combo into stuff. If you if you're um, even in range of low forward. You can get Oh yeah, car uppercut car uppercut works. That's really cool too. Oh shit. I missed the car. Damn, the announcer's going nuts. I I have the voices off. So. Oh, smart. I can't get my car. Uh... That wasn't even the car. Try it with the uh, try with roundhouse. It's a bit easier. Mm. On my pad, it's like the same difficulty. Oh, like you're a... using the pad. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. I'm normally pretty good about that car. That wasn't it. It can be really tricky. Oh, I just got it. Um, I'm good about the car throw anyway. That might be it for Ken's basics. So let's talk about his combos real fast. It's, it'll be short. Um, well, first, anti-air. You do medium uppercut most of the time. It's the most reliable. You can also do crouch fierce if they're really high above your head, like if they're going for a cross-up. It's quite a good anti-cross-up. Um, it does tend to trade, though. It's not as good as Ryu's. Um, you can also do... Oh, that works. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, I counter hit it. Yeah, there you go. You're a little too slow. Uh, that time you're too fast. <laughs> I see. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, we never even talked about tire combo. I mean, it's not. That's not a whole lot to say. It's not. It's not useless, but it's not. Uh, you. I don't use it, but it's not useless. Um, so the way that it works, that's one thing it does. The problem with tire combo is that. Um, it does 130 damage, yeah, which is pretty strong, but it scales as two hits instead of one hit. So let's say I have Samurai House into Hard Uppercut, it is 260. And if I have Tart Combo into Uppercut, um, it's 250. So already, even though it does more damage, it's losing damage in combos. Even for the shortest combos you can do, it loses damage um, compared to other. And that's the only scenario where you can really use it as a punish. Oh, but um, that's not actually true because you can... Um, there's a little... Oh, yeah, you can combo from Jab. But uh, there's a little gimmick there is it's unsafe even to do just the stand strong. But what you can do is do a stand strong and then a very late stand fierce. And it actually lets you do it really late and it'll still combo. I'm like pushing the limit. It's a really good frame trap. Too. Yeah. It like people tend to hit buttons in that window. But even if they don't tend to hit buttons, what you can do is do the stand strong and then react to whether you were hit or blocked. And then if if it was blocked, you can do um, cancel the fireball like that. Three hits ideally. And then if it works, you can do canceled uppercut. So you've got a little like a, a little tool you can play. It's like a little confirm you can play around with with just that. But unfortunately, it's kind of like because you've got to do like a close strong there and because the range can be kind of picky on the second hit if you delay it and because the scaling is not as it, it's not that good. There's a lot of things working against it. It, it sucks. There you go. It sucks because uh, it's such a fundamental part of him in third strike, but just the way that um, they really should have made it do like 250 damage or 250. Oh fuck, 150 damage in this game if they wanted it to be viable with the way scaling or works. Or at least not scale twice. Yeah, if it didn't scale twice, then fucking 100 would be enough. That make it useful. Me. Uh, in terms of combos, you would normally do like um, a punish combo. You usually start with stand run house depending on the range. Sometimes you don't have enough time to get close and do that normal because it's not the fastest normal in the universe. Um, but it's normally fast enough to be a good punish. It's like it's like Rose Stand Roundhouse or Rose. I don't know. I can't think of a... Well, it's like a similar normal. It's not like that fast, but it's fast enough. It's like fast for the purposes of a punish. Um, but you get pretty good damage off of that and it works. The activation range is pretty wide, so that's not really a huge issue. Uh, you can do it off of any blocked uppercut or stuff. Um... 
And then you can go into Uppercut or Fireball FADC or EX Fireball FADC or Tatsu or like sure you can FADC Ultra. It's very common, very common combo. That's like your generic big punish with Ken. Um, and that does the same damage as if you do Light Uppercut, by the way. Hard Uppercut is it's, it's literally like prior preference in terms of punish combos. doesn't matter. Um, and then with uh, confirmed combos, uh, you normally do like, um, you start with Crouch Shorter if you can help it because it's low. But you can do like uh, stuff like, uh, I drop the low forward. Yeah, that's ideal, is you do uh, something like that or you do with all crouching. Technically more uh, difficult, but more consistent. And then you can link into Uppercut. That's what I usually do because it's very consistent on online as I drop it. Um, but that's like a really good, that's a really good thing to do whether it hits or is blocked, which is the nice thing about it. I can't get it; it's too hard. I'm getting the negative edge because I'm doing the cancel too early. Um, and then you can combo, you can combo the forward there. And I think on some characters you can do uh, uppercut after that, but usually you have to only do one jab. Um, and you can do low forward Tatsu regardless of which one you do. Yeah, very common to do that. That was the X Tatsu because I did a four hit confirm. But that's quite common. Um, those are like Ken's confirms in a nutshell. And then you can do some other stuff like, uh, whoa, that one's weird. You can do uh, crutch short, stand short, crutch fierce. There's some other, there's some wonky stuff. The easier one to do is um, move forward. Mm. Oh, um, yeah, but uh, I think Ken's, I think crouch, Ken's crouch short is three frames, right? Or plus three, rather. So I think you can do um, short, 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 and then link an uppercut, but it's very difficult. Because you, yeah, like that. Um, and that's a true block string, and it's a series of lows, which means if they're mashing directions or if they start stand blocking, um, you'll catch them. So that's a nice little Actually, thing. Actually, his light kick, his crouch light kick is plus five on hit. What the fuck? It's that much? <laughs> I don't believe no. it. Shit, I just linked into it comfortably. So technically, you should be able to do uh, crouch fierce after crouch short. That doesn't sound right, but like, I'm gonna require a lot of testing. I thought it was plus three. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Unless F8 tool might be wrong. Yeah, it might be wrong. Try low forward, because that's supposedly a two frame link. We should know quite comfortably. We should know very quickly whether it's possible or not. That looks like you're doing it as fast as possible. My memory and my experience are telling me, uh, are telling me plus, plus three. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> plus five. Yeah, that sounds really good. I think his jab is plus five. Um, I guess that's pretty much it for Ken. Um, I've done more of these than I can do in a lifetime today. I'm gonna do all the characters before too long. It's kind of exciting. That beat my jab uppercut. <laughs> I got reversal and everything. Um, let's. Oh yeah, let me show off that style Ken combo that I dropped earlier. <laughs> it's cool looking. Remember, it's always important to style. I think I have the best taunt, too. Hold on. Yes. Turn your back on the foe. I see. Jump. Yeah, that works. Oh. I've seen that. You can FADC it into the Ooh. Didn't know that. Oh, I never mentioned that. Hold on. This is actually important and not stupid. Um, sure, you can FADC dash in in the corner. Loses hits. Like quite a few of them. Sure, you can FADC backdash ultra. Gets full connect. So in the corner, you backdash instead of forward dashing. That's or actually not. something I legitimately did not know. <laughs> Useful, right? Oh, but do your combo. I want to see it. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, I mean, if you backdash a little bit better. Oh, my, my, my turn. I think I had too low. Yeah. Oh. That looks good. Uh, I mistimed it. That's good. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. That was way too low. Mm. That's so weird I got that cross under. Shit, dude, I'm bad at this. 
You're doing it too late. You gotta yeah, do it like one. I, I saw that. That one was too late. There you go. That's nice and deep. Yeah. There you go. That's stupid as hell. Terrible damage. <laughs> I did 300. I mean, like, you wouldn't do that, but it's not terrible. <laughs> it's just terrible compared to the other options in the same exact scenario. Nah, oh, I believed. Higher. That was cool. I've never seen that one. Ooh, that was weird. I'm impressed by Ken's shenanigans. Ken actually has more shenanigans than like almost any character. Ken. Ken is like chief shenanigan. That looked good. Yeah, I don't think it works from deep in the corner. Hmm. There you go. He's got a lot of gimmicks though. This'll hurt. One more for good measure. That's three bars, unfortunately. Quite good damage, though. Even with Ultra Double, it did 511. Uh, oh, yeah, let, me, let me hit this. It's the same exact combo. Oh, I didn't, I didn't crumple. I'm dumb. Need counter hit or crumple. Ah, uh, didn't even EX. <laughs> this is stupid. No. You can get all four though. What else? Oh shit. <laughs> get in the game, man. Punch, punch. Whoa. You know, I think this actually. Oh, dude, hold on. Uh, you know how they changed the jump arc of Tatsu um, mm -hmm. in Ultra? Uh, they only changed it for um, forward jump and back jump. They didn't change it for neutral jump. Um, <laughs> So you can do uh, this. You can do this. Still works. Uh, oh yeah. If you neutral jump, I thought they just removed it, but you it's still can there. Still do it on forward and well, you can't do it on back jump, but you can still yeah. do it on forward jump. You just yep. have to do it really, really. Neat. Mm. A pretty cool combo. You know, in super, you could do this. Super Ken, super, super Ken was really good, actually. Like, if people went back and played that game, I think Super Cam would be quite strong. But, um, you could do this. And I think you could do this in AE, too. Jump in on me. You could do, uh, well, I wasn't ready. Um, into that. And that would actually work. Yeah. And that would get tons of damage. I think you could still do that. You might need a Plink one. Um, jump in on me? Like that, right? Um, alright. I'm pretty sure you need a blink one. I think you can only get like one hit. That's the problem. Is is you used to be able to get four hits. You used to get the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> Let me try me again. I want to try the blink one. Wow. Oh, just okay. Hmm. Blink one's quite precise to get. Oh, I got it! I got it! Still possible. Still possible. That's your max damage fall off. No, it's not. I'm pretty sure uh, EXTP does more. Take it back. You get corner carry anyway. <laughs> nah, you can get it. Yeah, I've seen that. It's good. Man, Ken's the champion of stupid stuff. I actually do that a lot. Is um, I jump in in Tatsu, even though it's not going to be a cross-up Tatsu, just to get uh, altered jump arc, and I can I can dodge a lot of anti-airs like that. Yeah, stuff like that. Even though it's not like there's like no chance of me hitting. Uh, if, with the right and timing, it can make stuff with. For people who don't know, um, to move forward the most with Ken, without doing Kara, you just do it as soon as you start going Yeah, down. descending. I think I've hit the limit of what I know about Ken. Uh, one something. thing I learned recently in the Reddit tournament, yeah? if Anka does Ultra 2 on the ground and you need to dodge it, don't do... You have to talk to when you're coming down, but when you're coming up. Mmm, that makes sense. Try this on for size. Was 3S a combo breaker? I don't think so. Oddly enough, uh, I think Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 was a combo breaker, which is pretty rad because that game doesn't get a lot of love. Wanna see how to swag out? Oh, should I drop the combo? <laughs> that works, though. Or it doesn't work, but, like, um, you can burn... You can burn a red focus doing nothing if you want to. Burn three bars on nothing. Whatever. Uh, 
<laughs> this is going to end in violence. I really don't think we missed anything, but I'm looking at his command list. We didn't mention um, that Tatsu broke armor, but Tatsu breaks armor. I always forget to mention that. We didn't mention his throw ranges. Forward throw leaves you a really good Oki, and back throw leaves you like full screen, and potentially with really good Oki still. Oh, uh, no, back throw is still good. Oh yeah, it's not full screen. Still Oki. I think the setups with that. I think that was the setup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I remember. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh shit. I went for autocorrect. That was way too early. Come up. Whoops. I guess that's what he says. You wanna have a couple matches? 